I am so scared, oh my God. I look like a bulldog. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ohema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. No, we're not fighting. I'm just happy to see you. If you haven't yet noticed it, I did change my YouTube name from Ohema Bonsu to Ohema because I feel like for, I mean, even before I started my channel, I wanted a one word name, but whenever I started it, I wasn't able to find the link to create the page where I can only have one name, but I really only generally wanted a one name channel. Okay, so I finally had a chance to go ahead and change it to a one name channel and nothing I would want more than just just to have my channel called Ohema. So that's what I went ahead and I did. So if you see the channel name Ohema, it's still me. I just went ahead and changed the name from Ohema Bonsu to Ohema, okay? So that's what happened. You're not, you're not on someone else's channel. I didn't create a new channel, even though I do want to create a new channel, but you know, it's still the same channel. And uh, we also hit 100K on Instagram. So thank you so much to everyone who follows me on Instagram, who's actually following me on here as well. And thank you to all my Instagram followers because without you, none of this, none of this would be possible. Okay, so thank you guys so, so, so much. Yes, thank you. So I have seen the Scott Scott Barnes X Tati video, not that they collaborated. Or I guess they did collaborate in the video, but the video where Scott Barnes was doing Tati's makeup, I have seen that. But it wasn't something I was like so interested in trying until my sister Kelechi did a video on it, and I thought, you know what? You, you, you know what? If she did it, then I think I should I could be able to try it. Yes, she is a black girl. She's actually based in Nigeria, so hi Nigeria. At least compared to me, she's fair compared to me, okay? So I decided to go ahead and try it on myself and see if I can achieve it, okay? Granted, I don't have the skinny face that Tati or Kelichi has. My, even though my jaws are pretty pronounced, they're not as pronounced as they were like five years ago because I have gained weight and you know, my face, my face is rounded up and my cheeks are, you know, bigger and my jaw bones are not as chiseled as they once were. So I'm gonna try the Scott Barnes method on, wow. That sentence right there just had all my accent in there. The Scott Barnes method, because I can't say Scott. That just does not sound right. I'm gonna try the Scott Barnes method on myself, a dark skinned, round faced girl. So if you wanna see if I can actually use his method and actually be able to achieve that snatural look that he's, you know, selling, then keep on watching. <laughs> You. I've been doing this for 28 years and I just shot my 263rd music video last weekend. I know. Okay. And over 450 magazine covers and over five films, one Oscar consideration for one of my films. Awesome. And I've written two books. I started out as a fine arts painter mm -hmm. and then became a makeup artist by accident. And it became a passion after it was an accident. Yeah, I mean, sometimes the best people, the best people who do something are people that fall into it accidentally because they do something else and they bring that expertise into whatever field it is that they end up in and they actually excel at it. So I think this is one of those, uh, one of those situations. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Video shoot, music video or something. Uh, yeah, you guys are gonna sing for you at the end of this. Okay, so I'm gonna use nighter right okay. what I like to do with this is to bring it in and you just use it to like eliminate stuff and I'm gonna go in ham like I'm Wait, gonna use yes, makeup like I'm like not gonna lot. pretend like I like the contouring and everything to do the work underneath the foundation so you don't see it now this is everybody's like where do I contour so this is always the question right so mm -hmm. I bring the light right all the way up to the edge really? and sometimes you see really bad nose contour he goes in first with concealer and I have this thing with concealer where I'm afraid to put too much concealer on because I don't want it to look crazy 
but I'm going to fully embrace this process because we are doing it in a different way compared to how you would like normally do your makeup, you know, so I'm just, I'm going to embrace the process. Okay. And let you guys know how it comes out. Let me put my hair back because this is about to get <laughs> really serious. Okay. So he goes in with concealer. Now the one concealer that I feel gives me a good enough coverage, fairly light compared to my skin tone. I am so scared. Oh my God. I am so freaked out right now. You have no idea. I'm starting out with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Coco. Coco is light compared to my skin tone. So he doesn't put primer on. I mean, my I did my skincare routine, but I don't have any primer on right now. Do I want to do this? Like, Oh my God. I don't even think this is light enough. It's natural. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Okay, and we have to put some over our brows as well because that's what that's how he has it. And like he said, he doesn't go easy on the concealer. He like goes ham on concealer, so. like this is what I have I mean I hope I have enough concealer I don't think I have enough he puts a lot of it under her eyes and it looks like they're behind bars okay couple brushes let's let's talk about yes. brushes for a second if we're gonna talk about Jennifer Jennifer calls this a cat paw oh because she goes look it's like a cat paw I have a butterfly on my face or at least my face looks like a butterfly hopefully I can blend this out and it's not going to um, so thick, but I'm going to use a flat brush like this. He calls his a cat paw. The one I have looks that looks as flat as that. And let's see how he does it. Um, what I I'm going to blend it out. And just working on the skin. Now I'm starting to feel like that guy from, remember who used to do the oh, painting? I forgot to put some right here. Make sure to get the corners of my nose. If this doesn't come out okay, just know that we tried, okay? And I'm supposed to put some down my... And he just likes to tap, 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 tap. Oh my God, this is a lot of concealer. I think I did it wrong. Let's get crazy. You have to remember, okay? Lifting. I'm like literally giving you all my secrets here. Do you hear that, guys? <laughs> all of his secrets. Okay, okay, okay. Blending, bl I think I used the wrong concealer. Just this, this is too much. This, this is, oh my god, I'm scared. I look crazy. Let's tap it in. Let's tap it in. I mean, I've never had this much concealer under my eyes to actually do what it's supposed to do ever. So this is, this is good. I look like a bulldog. Blending the edges of the concealer. I'm very sure I did this all wrong because there's too much concealer. And because I'm wearing a wig, I don't have enough of a forehead to... Okay, let's blend this up. Nope, nope, nope. Wow, okay, I messed up. I definitely messed up. <laughs> wow. Um, send help. If you have any help, please, please send it. I messed up. The reason why I always hit the chin mm -hmm. is because you want this to come forward. It makes things sharper. All right, jaws. We're gonna jaws. come in with the jaws of life. Ooh, yes. Snatched. Snatched the house. So this is what I call. Okay, so next he goes in and contours the jaw. I am going to use, if I, I, I want to use the Juvia's Place uh, conce uh, foundation stick in the shade Congo, but Congo is more like my skin tone. Um, but since I did that, I'm going to do this side. So, supposed to put that essentially around yo jowls. Okay, I'm getting the Koivoka contour stick and this is the shade Icon Deep 
contour shade. Okay, like that's a lot deeper than the first one that I used. And I'm gonna put that over it. Where else does he put this contour? Now, if you need to minimize someone's neck, this is what I do, I bring it into a V. I don't have a brush like he's using, so I'm using the Sigma triangle looking brush. This one is called 3D HD Max Kabuki. It's like a triangle. And he said to try to make my neck look skinnier. I don't think this is gonna work because my neck is already really dark as it is, but I'm just gonna blend this contour down like he does. As if my neck is not dark enough. Oh, my wig is lifted. Just don't look that way. People do you have haters? Oh, sure do. I don't. The whole camp. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Scott. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, minimizing your forehead now. Like the light's hitting right here, so. Mm -hmm. just so my forehead is already minimal because of the wig that I have sitting on my head right now. So I'm just contouring whatever little bit of forehead there is left to contour. Oh my God, guys, I'm scared. This, this. Okay, you know what, when you're as, as dark as I am, sometimes the contour just does not come together. Like, I know Koiboka has deep contours and I know Icon is very deep, but it's not showing up on me today. I don't probably because I don't have foundation on. <sighs> this is where people really mess up with contouring. They over contour and then they drag off. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find a contour that's deeper than what I'm using. But he goes in and applies some of the contour shade right here. contouring above my lip. Now the trick to having a fuller lip is not overlining it to death. This just looks like I'm putting my skin tone back into place. Like... Uh, so essentially you draw your lip with the contour shade. So I know that Koivoka has really deep contours. When I put foundation and concealer on my skin, the contour is very deep. But on my natural skin, the contour is the same as my skin tone. So he put some on, on her face. I don't think he showed that part, I missed it. But I'm gonna put some of the contour right here. And I watched one of his other videos where he came back to do, uh, to watch Tati do her makeup. And I remember him saying that you have to flick up your contour. Oh my God. Right? And it has to like cusp or cup your, your cheeks. So when you, mm, the contour has to come up like along the lines of your, um, of your smile. Um, tan my chest. I guess I've always needed to try to make my chest deeper. So this is like right up my alley. I could do this, except my, the neck of my shirt is about to get brown, which is gonna irk the hell out of me. So I just do only this much because my whole chest is not showing. So he proceeds to essentially contour. Well, yeah. So he proceeds to essentially contour her whole body, like her chest, her hands, her neck everything okay he's using a brush that looks like the juno and co es03 brush now if you want to get one of these brushes you can and just make sure you use my code ohema and that will give you a percentage of your order from juno and co okay and he's fluffing it up like that so that's what i'm doing guys my contour is because the contour matches my skin tone exactly And this is a very deep contour shade. Like. So 
So I definitely messed up. I think I definitely put too much concealer on. But my face is looking. <laughs> my face looks funny. <laughs> okay, so he used a foundation that was lighter than the contour to, I guess, go over the contour. I am still blending my contour. And I do, I'm I'm seeing that Tati still, oh my God, I just messed up my shirt. Ah! <laughs> I'm seeing that Tati still has concealer right here on her face because her, I mean, I know that she hasn't put, um, whatchamacallit yet. So I'm gonna put some of the concealer, whatever's left on the brush. I'm just putting that over here like that. God, I'm so clumsy. Ugh. I'm gonna blend these out a little bit more into my skin. This is not going well for me. Where's my contour? I want contour. <laughs> you guys, I want contour, okay? I don't seem to be getting contour in this whole game. I was supposed to be natural. And then we're gonna use a little bit of lighter foundation because we don't want to take away the contour. So I'm going to use the Makeup Forever foundation and this is the shade Y545. I'm going to put a pump on the back of my, well less than a pump, on the back of my hand. And I am going to take this, this looks like the brush that he was using to, br to blend in the... I'm using this dual fiber brush from Jessup and just buffing that into, oh my God, this is not, this is not gonna work. So a lighter, I think by lighter foundation, he means um, like a lightweight foundation. That's not going to take away, like too thick to cover everything up, but he's putting the foundation all over her face, but like lightly, you know, like a, blendy type thing so that's what I'm doing like an artist moving your hand so fast everybody like what's happening what's happening they sense of moving so fast okay so that's what I'm gonna do but whatever I put on the back of my hand I'm just over my over the lighter parts where I put the concealer <laughs> after he strokes over where the concealer is it like has a little bit more color to Tati's face instead of it being like a white, um, you know, like just white concealer on the face. And he said that with where the lip is, you're just gonna buff over it. I'm just gonna pat it. See if my lips look any different. My lips don't look different. Do I look natural yet? Like. So at this juncture, my thoughts are, my skin does look, at least the parts where I put the foundation over it looks nice and blended and flawless. Um, I, did, I do have concealer under all those parts of my face. Putting down the concealer first, definitely, definitely eliminated that line that I usually have over here that I'm always tr struggling to cover up. Cause sometimes even after I put my concealer, I'm like, I can still see that dark line that I have over here, that indent line that I have. And I don't know how to cover it. And I think it's also because my conceal, my foundation is usually as deep as my skin tone or close to as deep as my skin tone. So that makes it a little bit more difficult for me to conceal my under eyes properly and not have it look like, and not have it look like the, the dark the dark line I have over here is showing through okay so like this is this is what we have I know that so where we are right now he is just blending in the nose contour shade and he did not blend the lip contour shade so we're just gonna leave that alone and I'm gonna try to blend this out I love 
I think that cream works primarily better than powder for a couple reasons. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's coming from inside the skin. And we want you to look like a baby. Okay, so he's using a cream blush. I don't have a cream blush. Do I have a cream blush? I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Palette Volume 2. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put some of the concealer on my eyelid. I'm taking this shade. I don't have a cream contour palette, so this is what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, using... I'm using the BH Cosmetics Pro Brush Number 3. And yeah, Studio Pro number three. And I'm just doing what he did where he like, my hands are moving so fast, you can't see me kind of thing going on. I'm trying to blend in this part a little bit. I have to go back in with some of the contour around there, but the blush over the cream is looking very, very good. I don't have, I haven't set my face yet. So my face is still kind of dewy from the products that I have on right now. So let's see what he does next. I just came out with a foundation brush. It's amazing. What is this best for? What kind of foundation? Cream foundation, foundation. like what we did here, yeah. Okay, so this would be a good one to do even like the body, uh, maybe? Face, everything. Face, everything? Yeah, okay. why stop at the body when you can do your face? Like, And I'm gonna show you, like I love, and the reason why I waited for this is because this is a dry brush. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing here is just Marrying everybody together. So he used a clean dual fiber brush. I'm using the Sigma dual fiber powder blush brush. This is F15. And you can also use my code Ohema at checkout and you should get something. So he's just going over everything. So I'm just gonna do that in sections. You know, so everything can be married and blended in together. Hopefully I don't end up looking crazier. Than I already. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that blends it in really nicely. Going back in with our dry brush, I am marrying everything together because you don't want it to look like, like you said, two different zip codes. Okay, so before I proceed, I'm actually going to go back in with some of the contour. I'm going to use a smaller contour brush. I'm gonna use the Sephora Collection X Milk Makeup, one of the brushes. This is the cream stick brush. It looks like a cream stick brush. I'm gonna use that to go back over where my contour was supposed to be because of, like I said, how deep my skin is. The contour, the contour stick, even though it's deep, if I had applied you know, a foundation, because most foundations tend to be a little bit lighter than my skin tone, than the shade of my face. Um, going back in with the contour just helps it stand out a little bit more than it is. Okay, powder. Okay, so he's going in with powder and he's using a powder brush. The powder brush looks to be as big as the one I've been using. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm using one of the Juvia's Place brushes. This one has, this one looks almost the same as the one that he has in the video. So I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna use that on my face. I mean, on a regular day, this is how I powder my face anyway, because I don't like when the powder is too much. It tends to look kind of crazy. I need to make sure I get directly under my eye because I do have lines under my eyes. Ever since I've been, I've always had lines under my eyes. It's not. Black dress. Yeah. And you wanted contour with this. Mm hmm Oh. Turn to the camera, just turn your head over. See that? Cut. <laughs> now, again, too strong. You're just gonna grab Okay, so now he's it's using so that you can So now he's using bronzer and you know dark skinned girls usually don't bronze because we barely have bronzers going on. But I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take Abby in the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1 because the last time we did the Fenty video, I told you guys that this was close to bronzer. So I'm gonna use that exactly where he used his. 
and see what to do. It kind of like helps define your contour or redefine your contour, but on me, I'm taking my NYX lip eye, eye pencil that I use as lip product and I am drawing the line over the contour that we did, he said. And he rounded up the top of it. My lips do look, my lips do look bigger. Okay, I'm gonna use a black pencil, just a, a slight line up here, just to deepen it a bit. I'm gonna use the Mulan X ColourPop Gloss, and this one is called Phoenix. And I'm just gonna apply some to my lips. It has that same kind of glow that the one he's using has, so that works out for us. Tip, tip alert, you know what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Going out to the edge. Not I'm taking it and out into the huge. Oh, this is like makeup choreography. Real for different shoots that I've been on, and I usually run to the bathroom and I'm like, mm, and like no Fix offense it. to them, but like I know my face and I fix things. You are the only one. You really are literally the. So only it looks one. like he's applying really a glow powder. I want to say I am gonna use the Laura Mercier glow setting powder just to like glow everything up a little bit because. I feel like I'm not glowy enough. I know I have oily skin, but. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished look using the Scott, the Scott. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> This African accent in me, it is going to come out today. This is me using the Scott's Barnes method. I cannot say Scott's Barnes method, okay? Because then everything just becomes too much and it will just slip out. So let me just say the way I know how to say it, okay? This is me using the, the Scott's Barnes method and I was freaking out, okay? That concealer was scary as hell. It was freaking me the f yeah. <laughs> So that concealer was scary, okay? It was scary to me. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know if, if, if we were gonna make it, okay? But it looks like we made it. We actually look really flawless. I feel like, personally, I personally feel like this is the closest my skin or like my skin routine has looked as close to my face skin tone and as close to my hand shade and as close to my neck shade as possible. Like this is the closest they've ever looked. My nose is contoured, but it doesn't look like, you know, two lines on my face. Being a deep skin or being a dark girl, sometimes it's very hard to be able to find the right products that work. Uh, for example, I've always used the Koivoka contour stick in the shade Icon. I've always thought it was really, really deep. Like, you know, like there's something about covering your face with, cons with foundation that makes everything just come out a little bit more bright. But in this case, like, you know, it looks balanced out. Of course, I had to deepen my chest shade some more to match my new foundation, but this actually came out looking a lot better than I thought it would. Like a lot, lot, lot better than I thought it would. And I'm really, really shocked because I didn't think it would look half as good as it looks right now, okay? I was, I thought I was gonna end up looking crazy looking concealer. <laughs> I feel like around my nose, I feel like the shade is not quite even right here on my nose and you know, that's about it. What I do like about it is, you know, the even uniform skin, the way my skin looks. I wish my contour was a little bit more popping than it is right now, but you know, hopefully a, a few inches, a few pounds lost would make the contour pop even more than it does. I'm impressed, I'm surprised, but I'm impressed, like, but it looks really, really good right now, and my shirt is surprisingly clean. So this shirt I'm wearing is actually from Pretty Little Things. It's a really plain white 
sleeve white long sleeve shirt I'm, I'm excited about this so yeah this is me trying out and using the Scott Barnes method that he did on Tati and I literally did this because Kelechi did it and it turned out so bomb on her but it did work for me I mean you can still see my highlighter is like subtle but glowy and everything just looks beautiful and gorgeous and <clears throat> so <laughs> you guys <laughs> oh the sneezing yeah that allergy season let me know down below in the comments what you think about this foundation routine i will definitely be trying this technique i have a few other people's techniques that i want to try okay you guys so this is a dark skinned round face girl trying out the scott barnes method and i can happily say that if you're dark skinned and you try this technique it will work for you granted you have to have a really deep contour shade i feel like if i could have found my benai um trio or my benai uh contour shade that they sent me i think that would have worked really really well because that is a really really deep contour i, I will try to find the benai contour that they sent to me and try this routine in a look for you guys so we can see how it works with a really deep contour shade but you know with just this it works my skin my skin shade looks very nice and i actually went upstairs to look at it in like the the tongues and light the yellow light the regular yellow lights you have around your house and my skin looked good so that's it for me trying out the scott barnes method thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below in the comments if you will try this out let me know what you think about how it looked i love you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye